Jerusalem's Gate, as we reported, and uh, everyone knows uh, the conflict between Israel and Hamas terrorist group, uh, the Palestinians. Now, uh, you know, I, you heard me talk about this all the time. Uh, Hamas is absolutely incredible at playing the media. Uh, you ever noticed a lot of the videos come out with li uh, little children throwing rocks at Israeli big tanks? And, uh, and it looks like uh, the big guy is beating on uh, uh, the little people and stuff like that. They don't show the Hamas terrorists uh, uh, going under their tunnels and killing Israeli citizens and stuff like that. I want to reveal something to you. Okay. Uh, in one of these uh, air raids, IDF was going to blow up a building. That's customary for IDF to call that building and tell everybody to evacuate their fits and bomb it. Well, on one of these particular calls, the IDF, the Israeli Defense Forces, calls the, uh, the people in the building, and a man gets on the phone, and this is what he says. It's recorded, too. Uh, this is how it goes. It starts out, the IDF calls the building, a man answers, and, he, and uh, Israel, the IDF was saying you need to evacuate the building, we're fixing a bomb it, because Israel is concerned about civilian deaths. Okay, the Palestinians said, quote, I can't get all the people out, I need at least two hours to get them out, the Palestinian says. Okay, the IDF uh, person said, listen, we're going to bomb the building. And that, that, that quote, unquote. Okay, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the Palestinian says, you want to bomb, like a question mark? Bomb whatever you want, the man re re uh, responds. No, fur no brother, we need to everything we can uh, so you don't die. Okay, that's the, the IDF person is saying, no, brother, we need to do everything we can do so uh, you won't die. Talking about the Palestinian, the IDF is concerned for his life and saying, we got to try everything to get you out of that building because we're fixing to bomb it. Uh, and then the Palestinian man answered back, we want to die, end quote. And then the IDF person says, but you have a responsibility for the children's lives. The Israeli pushes back. That was the IDF's quote. Okay. Now the Palestinian uh, replies, if the children need to die, then they will die. The Palestinian uh, says. And then the Israeli uh, IDF representative says, God forbid, God forbid, what do you want to, why do you, uh, what do you want to die? The soldier asks, the IDF person. And the Palestinian man says, this is how we reveal your cruelty. Now, this is a perfect example. And I got a, I got a video. Uh, 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 let's, let, let's listen to the... Uh, let me see if I can get it on big screen. And let's see here. Hold on. Oh, here you go. I hope you can see the screen. <laughs> Okay, now people, this is a perfect example. You have an IDF, IDF soldier, an Israeli soldier, pleading with the Palestinian man that uh, you, he's telling them, you don't want to die, brother. You don't want to die. We're going to bomb the building. Get out. And, uh, and, and he says, well, the children, uh, how does it quote again? Let's go over the quote again. And I want you to really uh, listen in on this. Uh, the Palestinian, I can't get all the people out. I need at least two hours to get them out, the Palestinian says. The IDF representative says, listen, we're going to bomb the building. The Palestinian man says, 
You want to bomb? Bomb whatever you want, the man responds. And the IDF her, uh, a soldier says, No, brother, we need to do everything we can do so you won't die. That's the IDF talking about the Palestinian man. Uh, we, and, the, he, uh, and then the Palestinian man replies, We want to die. And then the IDF uh, representative comes back and says, But you have a responsibility for children's lives. And then the Palestinian person says, if the children need to die, then they will die, the Palestinian says. God forbid, God forbid, what do you want to die, the soldier asks. This, and then the Palestinian man says, this is how we reveal your cruelty. Now, when they launch rockets, they do it uh, in buildings known to have women and children and, and stuff like that. Because uh, they want that they want the publicity that that brings. Here's Israel, modern tanks, uh, modern bombs, modern jets, and they want them. I mean, you heard it. You heard it in the conversation. You heard it in the conversation. Absolutely incredible. But they're, they're the best at playing the media because everybody came against Israel, and uh, uh, the uh, Hamas group started it. You know, Israel can't be held hostage from what the world wants. You know, Israel has to defend itself, it has a right to defend itself, regardless of who goes against them. And now, you know that we went over Ezekiel 38. Now, I'm not saying Ezekiel 38 is for this time, but one day all the nations are going to come against Israel. And God should prove to Israel that God is their protector, not any other nation. Now, God wants other nations to help Israel, but God is ultimately the protector of Israel. He's called the Holy One of Israel for a reason. Well, I just wanted to give you this short, brief video to show you. I came across this video, and I found it absolutely appalling how they use the media and uh disregard of life uh, any age uh, an IDF calling the buildings prior to bombing them to get the civilians out and get the people out of the buildings how many wars or conflicts have you heard that the uh, one of the uh, uh, countries calls the, uh, the opposing country and said we're going to bomb this building get out it's unheard of it's unheard of really and uh, Israel knows what they're doing, their tactics, but the whole world comes against Israel, and they get pressure, pressure, pressure from the whole world to uh, bow, down, bow down to the world's pressure. It's a shame that the, uh, uh, people, like in New York, they had some uh, uh, rioting uh, for uh, support of the Palestinians. And the only reason that the United States is a superpower and have been blessed is because we helped the Jews in World War II. That's when the dollar became the currency of the world. Uh, we were known as the uh, number one superpower after that. And God watched over our homeland. I showed you the uh, scripture many, many times. I will bless those that bless thee and curse those that curse thee. That's God talking about Israel. Well, I just wanted to get this out to show you a, a bit of reality how the uh, Hamas, the terrorist organization, plays the media and how they have no regard for life, even their own. With that being said, you're watching and listening to another broadcast of Jerusalem's Gate. We love you. We see you on the next broadcast.